Hi. So a few days ago, I posted on my social media how I get my hair curly before a show and I have pictures of myself wearing this. And somebody commented that I should make a tutorial about it because she didn't even know what it was. Well, I'm not sure if this tutorial is going to be effective or useful because first of all, I don't know that they make these anymore. When I Google this particular um, brand, Remington, all that, what shows up are the more, uh, the, like the harder uh, pieces of curlers with like this metal pin. And I've tried those. I didn't care for them, honestly. And this one was given to me almost six years ago when I was doing a show and the hair and makeup person found it at a thrift store. And she told me that because it was working really well for my hair that I should just have it. And so I gratefully took it. And every time I have an event or another show where my hair needs to be curly, then I use it and I thank her over and over again. Now, fun fact, the original owner of this before it was donated to charity, their names are in there. There's two names there. And I actually have worked with them. So it's actually funny. And so on my social media, I still tag her or the mom and saying that thanks for donating this because otherwise I wouldn't have it. <laughs> anyway, if you have one or if you want to buy it from a website that sells secondhand things or you find it at a thrift store or something, all you do is you plug it in and there's no on or off button. There's no settings. There's no high, medium, low. And the only reason why you know it's ready is because the bottom is gonna be quite topped. Not hot enough to burn the cushion or the chair, but it's um, it's you it's it's warm enough. Like I can't keep my hands there too long because otherwise it's too hot for me. And then I open that up, um, and as you can see, the center. I don't know if you can actually see it. The center is actually made of metal, and I think that's what makes it really effective because it stays. Um, hot longer in your hair than other stuff that I've used and I honestly I prefer this over curly irons I'm lazy I'm not a hairdresser I'm not really good at fixing my hair so this was a really good solution so as you can see I have very straight hair and I just kind of brush it a little bit and I take a I part it in the middle it, it's not exactly even but it's just for me to gauge things um, I have 24 of those round things that somebody called spoolies, so I guess that's what they're called. And I just take a little section and hopefully the 24 is enough. There are days <laughs> that I do it exactly 24 and there are days it's less and there are days that I feel like I need more and that just means that I did not take as much hair as I should have or I didn't or I took less hair than I should have. So it's about like this. And I try to start at the bottom, but it's not always. So I kind of just coil the bottom and then roll it all the way up. And, then... and once you get to as close to your scalp as possible without hurting yourself or hurting myself, I then just go and turn it over and it just stays there. You don't need to put anything in or whatever. Hey, it's cool! I feel like if I put one of the ones here, it could just be like my hairdo for the day and I don't have to finish the whole thing and it curl here. Like I can just claim this is, this is my, my look for the day. <laughs> um, yeah. And then, so I do another one. I know some people who are really good with hair that they can just do a couple and coil really quickly. So when I when I put too much hair, this gets too full and it's really hard to flip it and then the curls aren't as nice or as defined. But there you go. And I'm gonna do the rest. Fast forward so you don't have to be bored watching me do 20.
hair dryer a little bit, somewhere in the two hours I had these on. And then I did do a quick hairspray. Some people like to put the product before they do the sections, roll it in the sections. I it just depends on what I'm doing. If I'm if you're doing like dancing or something crazy where you might get sweat and you want to make sure your hair stays, then yes, you would use more product. But if you're just going out, I don't know. I, I prefer to use less product if possible. Just I'm not a big fan of gunk in my hair. <laughs> so there you go. And I'm gonna fast forward this too so you don't have to watch me move all 20 boards. And there you have it. It's all curly. And it does look shorter because of the curls. And I like the veins a lot. When I want this to be like a sloppy wave instead of all these individual curls, I just kind of go like this. And eventually gravity will take hold of it and make it just wavy. And then I just do another hair, uh, just a dash of hairspray if I want it to stay longer. Here. Oh, also my husband had find some things very similar on Amazon. So it's the, in, in a way it's similar because you can flip it like that and keep it on your hair without having any other tools. But it doesn't have the metal center like I was telling you earlier. And it doesn't have the pad where you, you rest it so that it heats it up before you use it. So I don't know, maybe I'll try it just to see the difference, but I don't think it's honestly gonna be more effective. I do wanna see if it's more comfortable to sleep in because there's no way I'm taking a nap with this. It's just too hard. <laughs> but it is pretty effective for somebody with very straight hair. There you have it. I hope it helped and I hope you find something similar or exactly the same that you could use <laughs> this new knowledge. Uh, I, again, maybe there's a better way to do it. Don't know, this is how I do it. Bye.